Uh, no need to apologise at all, Chair. Thank you very much. Well, it's, um, well, it's, it's interesting, story. Minister, that you're talking about the, the Anconi coaches. My grandfather was the last coachman in um, <laughs> Ireland, or in Galway, and he drove the Anconi to Clifton with four horses. So transporting Galway is in my blood. And Minister, what I want to talk to you today about is light rail. Uh, anybody in, in uh, Galway who uh, would be looking at the city would say if you are building um, a city, you would certainly not start with the way Galway is laid out. Um, there is a very active group in Galway concerned with light rail and trying to bring light rail to the city. An excellent report has been prepared by uh, Mort Coleman, Chartered Engineer, which I would ask you to engage with. Minister. Bringing more buses into Galway is not going to solve the problem. 336,000 cars a week travelling into this. Um, I don't live in Galway now, and I'm very thankful that I don't, because the traffic congestion in Galway is bound to have a negative effect on foreign direct investment and indeed any sort of um, investment for the creation of jobs in the city, because it has become so difficult to have across the city. Now, I understand there's a plan in place, but Mr. Minister, you've shown tremendous imagination today and willingness to listen and to reappraise situations, I suppose. And um, what, what I'm asking is that you might uh, agree today to meet with the light rail group from Galway City and at least explore the possibility of developing the project that they have in mind. 22,000 citizens in Galway have already said they favour some sort of light rail system in the, in the city. And I think the system they're talking about now is the Coventry system, which is not a Lewis heavy rail system, but a very light rail system, uh, which could run from, say, Carnmore Airport into the city and right through to Barna, um, feeding all of the, the satellite uh, places around the city, Burview, Ballyban, uh, right through Renmore and on then through Salt Hill, out through Nukmakara and on to Barna. I think we've got to move away from heavy diesel engine type uh, vehicles and start looking at, at something alternative. The light rail one, I've said and spoken to the people in Galway. I'm quite excited by what they have brought forward. So I'd ask you, Minister, would you be willing to meet them and at least consider a feasibility study for the introduction of a light rail system in Galway? Minister Ryan. Before going on, I'd just go back to your Bianconi connections, because he was an incredible man, an Italian, friend of Daniel O'Connell, used to was, was hauling picture frames around the country and fed up seeing the aristocracy going by in their carriages, so he decided to set up his own. He was a Ryanair of his day with, with a real class, and he ended up going as far as Belmullet with the first drop in I'm sure, stop. I'm sure, I'm sure Michael O'Leary will, will, will welcome the comparison. With yeah. Um, <laughs> can, I say, can I say with regard to Galway, uh, and I have met on regular occasions the, the, the various uh, people advocating rightly for, for light rail in Galway. Uh, they make a very good case. The, um, we have an immediate priority. We have to build the uh, um, high quality bus corridor routes uh, from the likes of Barna through around by Taylor's Hill, down by the hospital, by the university, through town, through Air Square, and out towards Park Moors. And that's one, as I understand, of the kind of the two main light rail routes that people have been looking at and considering. I think similar to what we will need to do in Cork, we need to do something similar in Cork, where we need to identify the key bus corridor routes and build them out. And it's going to be real difficult politically to get the prioritisation on the road is the real challenge. But we need to do it in Galway, we need to do it in Cork, with the view to them being upgradable to light rail, in my mind, is, is the sequencing that we should look at. Um, because the key decision is getting the space, getting the road space. What I'm very impressed with the people in Galway is they are looking at this very new, new technologies coming on stream, very light rail, and, and looking how that would be perfectly suited for just such a staged approach in terms of putting the bus corridor first, build up the passenger demand, show the demographics can work, show, change the transport patterns within the city, and that makes the case. I think within that, yes, we will look. We have to look at a, a review next year of the Galway transport strategy. And I think within that, we're perfectly placed to look at the light rail options. But it can't be delay and wait. We have to proceed with the, in my mind, not just the bus routes in Galway, but also the cycling infrastructure, because it, it is probably the worst affected city and area in, in, in the country in terms of traffic. Everyone knows it. 
uh, everyone living on one side of the city working on the other. Huge congestion. Uh, and I believe that those sort of uh, public transport and cycling and actual travel solutions are going to be critical. And I think by, by delivering those, that then sets us on the path towards ter converting them towards light rail routes, as I think the, the, the latest thinking from the light rail community in Galway <coughs> is on similar lines. Literally, bus lanes turned into light rail lines using new, advanced, very light technology. And I would be very supportive of, of, of uh, reviewing that next year as part of the review of the Galway Transport Strategy. Uh, Senator Cockwell. Uh, thank you very much, Chair. Um, I want to thank the Minister. That was um, really encouraging what I heard there. And the next time the Minister is in Galway, you have amazed me with your knowledge of every town and village in Ireland today. Um, clearly, you're the right man in the job. Next time you're in Galway, go to Black Rock and have a look at the commemoration to Malachy Crockwell and the Bayan Coney uh, coach that drove. Thank you very much, Chair. Thanks very much, Senator Crockwell.